My musical journey began uh, basically from the womb. Uh, my dad is a jazz uh, musician. He is trained on flute and he taught himself the violin and he's a little bit of a composer. So basically, you know, I was basically just a thought and I already was surrounded by music. Both of my siblings are violinists and I started on piano. I moved to violin myself and then I heard Yo-Yo Ma in the car. Uh, he was playing Camille Sanson's The Swan. And I was like, Mom, Dad, I need to play that instrument. It was, it was me, it was my voice. And that's the name that I gave each instrument that I owned, and it was a cello. And I got my first one at age four. And that's how my journey began, and here I am. I think that one of my most memorable experiences with cello is definitely the White House. Uh, it was 2009, I was eight years old, and I walked into one of my lessons and my teacher was like, you're gonna perform with Elisa Weilerstein at the White House for President Obama. I thought that my face was gonna fall off from smiling. <laughs> okay, so there's one. Uh, I, I, uh, I'd like to say that performing at Carnegie Hall a couple times was definitely a big thing for me. And now this, the Neapolitan Connection concert series. Um, it's uh, basically mostly in Toronto, and then we have a concert in Ottawa, and it's got me pumped. There's a lot of new rep, there's a lot of rep that I haven't played in a while, and it's definitely a lot of fun uh, to perform. And I look forward to the next one. I think it's my role as a musician to bring music to everyone. And I think that it's really important that we feel music and not just hear it. Uh, it's something that, that, that kind of makes us human. Where would we be without sound? Um, because it's around us, it's within us, and it's what makes us. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sajari Britt, and these have been my five minutes.